cold weather brings to mind short frigid days and long dark nights with the sun setting long before our workday even ends. But this year, Ash and I have resolved to find joy even on the coldest days. And not just by watching an endless stream of comedies huddled, huddled under our coziest blankets. Science actually shows that keeping busy can help stave off the winter blues because your brain has less space to dwell on the doldrums when focused on something else. That's why we rounded up a selection of the best winter activities to enjoy in Kelloland. Last week we went ice skating and today we're headed to Great Bear Ski Valley to learn how to snowboard. <laughs> to be out here at Great Bear because today we're taking a snowboarding lesson. I love all winter sports but I've never been snowboarding before so today you're gonna be the expert. Well you love embracing winter so this is perfect for you and you like to ski. I snowboarded back in like sixth and seventh grade so hopefully we can learn some new skills today. We're gonna find out. We are. So first things first let's head inside to get our rentals. Right, let's go. Put your foot in here. Okay. Oh, you have a brand new pair. Oh, I got a brand new pair of boots. Get in and out. You're going to pull up on these yellow tabs here. Slide them all the way off. This will come up. And you want to get your foot as far back in here as you can. So what can a novice snowboarder expect for lessons in their progression? Just really take your time. You don't want to rush to the top of the hill. That's, that's a dangerous thing to do. Um, it can be very overwhelming if you don't have the proper knowledge of how to stop or stay in control. For someone who wants to get into winter sports and maybe has tried skiing, can you explain like the transition or like the difference and kind of just what to expect a little bit? To me, I feel that it's all gliding. And once you can get past moving without moving your feet too quickly, it's it's getting past that initial fear so you know be it skiing or snowboarding I, I feel that winter sports are a lifetime activity yeah, I'm almost 40 is this too late to be learning this <laughs> Absolutely Never. Not. is there a, is there a good time though I mean for kids when we get our kids um, out here you uh, typically we won't teach snowboarding until the kids are about seven eight years old um, skiing again is a good way to start to get a good feel for that gliding motion and once we can get you know, used to that, then you can get used to the other uh, motions. Um, kids that are too young just don't really quite have the coordination yet. Same. Right? <laughs> Same. <laughs> first things first, I like to show people how to fall. How to fall? Yep. So we're going to become without masters even, at falling. Even looking at our board, you know, I like to take a few steps back, and then when you're falling forward, Let's be sure we're, you know, put your wrists out in front like this. And then you want to fall onto the, onto the elbows like that. You don't want to grab like this, because that could risk, you know, hurting your wrist. And then falling backwards, same idea. You just want to go to the butt, keep your hands out in front. You don't want to try and catch yourself. That would give you a good injury on the wrists. Okay. Now that we've got that out of the way, this is a good way to get up a steep hill. <laughs> yep, dig that toe and then go ahead and step chop. So the first thing I show is how to pretty much stop. So all I'm going to do is lean into my front foot a little bit with my heel hanging off the edge. And as I begin gliding down the hill, I'm going to use that heel to brake. That's going to help me stop. Looking good. All right, step turn, we'll head back up. Uh, to initiate a heel edge stop with both feet on the board, I'm going to lean onto my front foot. After I get going, I'm going to apply equal pressure on both feet and then slowly lift my front toe and apply consistent pressure to both feet. All right, let's see that heel edge. Still spinning. So try and keep a little more on that front foot. 
All right, there you go. Exactly. That's fine? Yep, that's exactly what we're doing. So another thing to think about is when you're getting into that heel side turn, think of it like a gas pedal. The further down your foot goes, the faster you're gonna go on that edge. So a little more up and that's gonna help you stop. I want you to start in this position, give it a kick, stomp, and then go into a heel. That was, that was it. good. That was it. Now to initiate a toe turn or toe edge, I'll lean onto the front of the board again to initiate a downhill. And then I'll slowly push my knee down, down into my toe a little bit, applying even pressure on both toes. How many calories do you burn snowboarding? When you're doing this, probably a lot more. Now I'd like to practice uh, garland stops is what they're called. Okay. And what we're gonna do is a few of those heel side stops in a row, okay? Like short, where you go just a little bit, a little bit? Right. Okay. Um, and the purpose of this is to keep under control. So without dragging our heel this time, we're gonna do our heel side stops. So I'm gonna start downhill, even pressure on both feet, turn to stop. Without kicking with your foot, start that downhill again, and then initiate a heel stop. Keep that pressure forward. Go, 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 go! Quiet upper body. It's been so much fun. I still don't have my feet in the bindings. When does that come? Uh, it comes a lot later. You know, uh, we need to get a little bit of practice in and make sure that we can stay in control. When you learn from your friends how to do this, if you just come with a board, you normally just put your feet in the binders. Why is it important to have your foot out and learn these different techniques like you've been doing with us? Uh, you want to keep it safe. You don't want to start at the top of the hill. That's a beginner mistake. Um, learning from friends also, you want to learn from somebody that's qualified and knows what they're talking about. As much as we like our friends, they sometimes don't know <laughs> what they're telling us. Now, speaking of qualifications, you're one of the only certified snowboard instructors. What does that mean? Um, that just means that I've gone through enough training to know uh, how to describe and properly use the equipment and keep people safe. Well, I've had so, so much fun today. I'm excited to keep learning. So maybe you'll stick around with us for a little bit longer and teach us some more things. I, I've got the rest of the week open, so I think we can <laughs> figure something out. Do I hold the record out. for spins? <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep counting.